I run over and I do everything I can to try to get the door open. Is okay. there a mechanism I can mess with? Uh, there is not. It appears to be completely automated from outside. What, what kind of what kind of a door is it? Uh, it's steel or whatever this dark metal. Can we see anything on the outside of the door? Uh, no, the door. Can is you closed. melt the door open? Nash, pry that door open. I I I, melt the door I go open. into a rage. Okay. Get away from the door. We're gonna melt it open. Um. So whatever spraying out of these sprinkler heads up here is pretty caustic. Um, <laughs> definitely not good for you. Yep. <laughs> it's clean in the room. Huh? It's clean it out. Okay. Um, oh yeah, so it's like oh the body's here. dead. We gotta melt all the shit in. Yeah. 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 Um. So Are there like drains in the floor? Yeah, so there. Great, now that you're like, <laughs> you'll go down there. <laughs> um, there is, in fact, there are like drains around the floor, and it's got like blood concaves. Um, the drains are currently closed. What is the? Is it a window? Window? Is it's it like just a... like a hole in the wall. Oh, now, the now it has slid closed. Oh. Ah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, like, like oh, steel. glass. Yeah, right? yeah. Is is there any? So the chains and stuff. Is it possible to climb above the caustic sprayers? Uh, interesting idea. So there, it's like a, like, think of like a sprinkler system. Right. So it's trying to get good coverage, but it might be possible to get up, like, out of the, uh, out of this the... This is like some saw shit. Okay, <laughs> how tall is the room? Um, what are the dimensions of it, I guess? Let's say it's like... chloric acid everywhere. Yeah, the cylinder will say, like, 10 foot, so like 20 foot diameter, um, and 12 feet tall. If that's the case, I'm gonna to try to climb up the chains. Okay. So I'm yelling to Nash, like I'm going up the chains. Okay. So you like grab onto the the weird like instruments and and arms and try and just like huddle to the ceiling. Yeah. I'm okay. Trying to scramble my way up there. Cool. Um, go ahead and roll climb. Can I do acrobatics? Or acrobatics? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Climb is not a skill. Okay. That's right. Uh, so this is supposed to be high. Crit. Yeah. You uh, can. Get... Can I help Nash up with this? Um. Not, yeah. if I, not if I'm trying to pry the door open first. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you're able to scurry up pretty quickly. Okay. Um, Nash, you, come on. You might. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. Okay. okay. So you might tell me how to how how to better do it, but I guess that's not exactly. Yeah. I mean, you could also like reach down a hand for him. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll aid you when you eventually. Yeah. Um. Well, at first, first I'd like to um, pry. Is there any crack at all in the door? No. It's nothing. It, it's like salt. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's, it's like it's like a rotary hole yeah. deal. Uh, I can see the pipes from where I am, right? That are spraying yes. this fluid. Are there any exterior valves or anything I could turn? Hmm. This high up? Uh, like an emergency shutoff valve? What kind yeah, of, what, and what kind of, are there any pipes sticking out? Pipes sticking out? Like, is, are there any pipe that I could grab? <laughs> oh, and just like, <laughs> put a kink in it? it? Yeah. And then it will explode. Uh, so I'm going to say <laughs> no valves visible, but ah. that might work. It, but they're all up on the ceiling. All right. And I, I jump gotta, over there with you. Okay. After promise. after after finding out that I there's no way. That okay. Um. So I'm gonna say that takes Skin a round, damage. and you take four caustic damage. I'm gonna aid you. Damage. I'm gonna aid you in your in your ac uh, acrobatics. Um. The other thing that you're noticing as you start to scamper around and as the the room starts to sort of fill up, like a film has appeared on the floor, um, is that the fumes from whatever this stuff is Damn are it. pretty nasty. Do we want to try to melt the door open? Sure. You. Sure. Okay. They are breaking. Can I Ooh. try and melt the door open? Yeah, go for it. They have an acid room. <laughs> can we just assume I hit? Um, yeah, and I think you can just like jet of flame, um, sort of a thing. It's gonna take you a minute to melt through the door. Ten rounds. Ooh. Okay. Then I'll do that. Okay. So I try and climb up. I don't right? think those survive. Acrobatics or athletics, rooms, I don't really but... care which. Um and, Ooh, if, okay. Then that is um a 13. And how does, so James said he was helping you with that natural 20. Um, so I forget if that's advantage or if it's just like a plus two. I don't know. Uh, I totally forget. Well, let's see. I can't remember. Let's see. I don't remember. I don't remember. He's sorry. He doesn't uh, I'm remember. I'm just a bad DM. I don't know my system. Not hey, if you don't know all the system. rules to your system, don't play it. That's that's our that's our. If comment. you don't know all the rules, like, comment, and subscribe for which rules you just can't. Hey ever. guys, put in the comments below your favorite rule, and we'll talk about it on next week's uh, tabletop trash. <laughs> tabletop trash. Uh, yeah, that's what we called it, right? No, it, it was table trash Advantage. talk. Okay, yay. Yeah, so you're whatever. I like the, I like hey. the name Tabletop yeah, Trash. Yeah, that's, that's what we good. are. That's uh, 26. Okay, yeah. So with, with Luther's help, you're able to get scamper right out. <laughs> Look, okay, we're cool. the Tabletop Trash. Yeah, that's true. 
so you are out of the direct spray of the thing. You're like clinging on like to this like weird contraption into like metal bars in the ceiling. The ce- like the walls of this room are the same like mm-hmm. flat metal, but the ceiling is like all this like oh, we're gonna weird we're chunky yeah things. grating and stuff hanging down and is it, whatever. Is it more advantageous to hold my breath or try to resist the fumes? So the way breath holding works. I did actually write it down. You can hold your breath for one plus your constitution modifier minutes. Nice. For a minimum of 30 seconds. Um, And then you get constitution modifier rounds of suffocation, and then you drop to zero points and start dying. Cool. Okay. Uh, So we're up in the chains, Mm -hmm. right? Um, Is it really one plus your constitution modifier minutes? Yeah. Yeah, you can hold like seven minutes for me. (laughs) Yeah. You you have a plus six, (laughs) Han. Holy shit. Wait, what? Well, that's saving throw. Shit. No, no not saving throw. Yeah. yeah. It'd be four, four minutes. minutes. It's still pretty... It's still, I mean, in real life. I'm David, yeah, that's a really I'm David Blaming it up there. I'm gonna... Um, so the the fumes are, like, floating up, right? Yeah. I'm... Uh, is that gonna work? I was gonna, like, wet a cloth down with water and then use it as a breathing okay. apparatus, but that probably won't work. That's probably not how that works. May, well, may as well try it. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to try. Well, I think it'd be more advantageous to just hold my breath. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to hold my breath as well. Yeah. I can okay. hold my breath for one minute. Okay. <laughs> well, that's all it's gonna take for me to melt open the okay. door. I don't yeah. Know so as you're up there, you can see the door is starting to glow red. Yeah. There's nothing we can do. Okay. Um, I I monkey bar over <laughs> to the the exposed pipe work that I see, mm-hmm. and oh man, this is gonna be a. How, how would this work? So I'm going to say it's strength with disadvantage. Um, because yeah. you're, you're trying to do it like while you're hanging off of it. Like You don't have anything to get purchase on. Is there anything... Can we, like... I'm trying to think if, if, if there's like a way I can like wedge like a javelin into the ceiling or something or like hang on to it. It's... Yeah. Which is, which is probably not. So... Okay. So I'm going to say that your, your efforts, while valiant, um, don't turn up anything, but just about the time you think you're about to pass out, Luther, um, the door sort of like melts and a big hole slags out of it and uh there is like you better back away yeah Yeah. so nauseous fumes come out of this room like terrible process stuff um you're not sure if it's being made better or worse by the burning door (laughs) i i immediately like swing over the chains and swing through the hole okay cool yeah i would follow suit yeah yeah Yeah, so you you get out you're fine (laughs) cool (laughs) (laughs) <clears throat> what was that for? For the record. Thought we were doing a good thing. Yeah, he was see, just being just. So as you watch it, you can see that, um, presumably from a safe distance with good ventilation. Yeah. I'm going to move back away from the hole in the door. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, if, if, if it comes up and starts to pour out, we don't want to be there. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're able to do that just fine. Um, you can see that the, the body on the table has dissolved pretty much completely. Um, or like after like about three minutes it dissolves pretty much completely um and just like like there's a sort of a faint red mist in the water but like bones everything is gone so wait the the door like does it come up enough so it flows out into the hallway um i'm gonna say that you sort of melted at the middle yeah. okay and so it only it only covers the floor to about six inches yeah the whole point is to mm. make a goo and then go down to the drain okay. yeah this so that... wasn't this wasn't like triggered by us like uh oh there's invaders here this was like Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't need to fill yeah. up a whole Yeah, room. it's there to let the body hit the floor. Which we probably should have realized. <laughs> well, this yeah. is interesting. Okay. So, the um, after about four minutes, the sprinkler shut off, and the holes in the floor, or the drains in the floor open, and the caustic acid stuff um, just, like, drains out of the room and leaves it basically as it was before. You can see it it sort of, like, beads and, and runs quickly on the metal, um, mm-hmm. as though it's, like, they're, they don't interact at all. Mm-hmm. Right. They coated the metal or something. Okay. Yeah. This is a so, place of cruel efficiency. Well, we gotta see what terrible thing uh, occurs next. Yeah, like I'm gonna stand there and watch. Like, does it like fish another body somehow? Or yeah. So as you as you sit there watching, um, another and it's almost as though we're lined up for perfect efficiency. Um, another one of those boxes comes through that or the so the door. Let's see. The far door slides open and the window slides open and yours it's all melted and disconnected. Yeah, it can't go up. It like. Chunks up and just is stuck. Nice. We fixed. We stopped the cycle. Wait, what? what why is that? Because of the, Break the, the cycle. tubes were. Um, because Lindsay melted it, and so now it's just like. <laughs> Break the cycle. So now it's like. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's like. 
<laughs> shitty robot um, status. But you do see another of those boxes sort of come out, um, and it, it like opens up and it sort of opens itself in front of the device and if, the manipulator if, hands. If possible, I'm gonna run over and try to bat those hands away. Okay. No. For the um, body. No. There are dozens of them and they're completely persistent. They don't seem to they're not like attacking you, but they're like dead set on getting this thing. It's like so I'm like trying to hold them off. I was like, somebody help me get this box off of here. Yeah, I, I rush yeah. in and so you're just trying to you're trying to disrupt them. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to get the thing away from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to do it. Um, am I still let's see raging? How <laughs> let's see how predictable. The uh, no, you haven't hit it. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah. Let's see how predictable the people who put the system. So were. you're just gonna try and get it away from the. From the uh, arms. You don't want to yeah. cut the arms. Okay. Drag it out into the. Well, they're, they're they're hanging from chains. Like by the time we cut through them, it's gonna just be like. Okay. Cool. Now we get to see how a developer automates his uh, his uh, dungeon uh, puzzles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, you're able to to sort of wrestle the body back and pull it and like fling it to the ground Damn, over does there. The, does the does the fortress have air handling? Um. And so the the did you. Did you grab the box and try and pull it off of like it's it's like on a track yeah. out here? Because the box has the body in it, so we're like moving the whole thing. Out yeah. Okay. Way. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you're able to sort of wrestle it off, and the box uh, actually detaches from. So the track is fine; it's undamaged, hmm. but the box like comes off. Okay. Um. In your struggle, and it just like clangs to the floor, and you like quickly get your feet out of the way just in time. Um. Hmm. And the the machine sort of resets itself. Um. <clears throat> And if you wait another couple of minutes, Shame. another a Damn boss of the body will come through. <laughs> We're never going to stop this. What if we blow up the machine? I guess we could. Oh, the crystals! Yeah, we we haven't tried we haven't tried to strike the crystals with. with... I tried to get you to. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and try to hit another crystal with my sword. Yeah, okay. it was the the importance the important thing was for me was the the. the humanoid first. Okay. So you're just gonna like. Yep. Sun sword. Okay. Cool. Um, so you, the sun sword, like, swings into the blood crystal, and there is a extremely violent explosion. So you're, you're pretty sure you have shattered the crystal. Okay. Um, the, it, like, very large shattering of crystal, like, way larger than it should have been. Uh -huh. Um, and you, let's see, what happens? So I think all the power stored in the crystal is going to uh, go up at this point. Um, so maybe we'll just... <laughs> who all's in the room at this point? Just, all these I, I, I definitely am, because I was in there helping move there. Well, we got the box out, and then I ran back in, so I would think it would just be me, but... I mean... He wants to help you. Yeah, so well, I, I, want, I want I want. I'm sure I was seeing if that stopped, because you said it was in a couple of minutes. Yeah. It like you can you can hear some there's like some mechanical yeah, stuff I, I, going I, I, on. I, I, probably, I probably would have left at that point to okay. stay outside. I don't I don't have some bad memories in this room. Okay. Um Yeah, so your there's a like a giant explosion radiant of light. It's as almost as a like the, the burst of light that you usually see when you wield the weapon, except for magnet magnet or uh, many times. Yeah. Can I magnify? Can I magnify? Thank you. Can I dodge out of the way with the uh, You cannot, because you're right at the epicenter. Damn it. Um, anybody else who's in the room should roll reflex. Um, so did, did, did we determine that I was in or out? Uh, I'm gonna say that you're in because yeah. we were. We just playing around <laughs> Goodbye, um, everybody. It's been nice knowing you. Goodbye, Moon Man. Yeah. So we're gonna. Mm, I'll not do all go. six of these d6. That's two fireballs. Is two fireballs too many? That fireballs eight d6. Yeah. Is this, is this another yeah, danger so sense? Yeah, already thing? had a fireball. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, yeah, go ahead and use your danger sense. Danger sense! All right, well, that's, yeah. So okay. 16? 16. Uh, yeah, that's enough, I guess. Um, <laughs> Dive back to the hole? And we'll say this is a, a smaller one. So there's, let's see, 11 and 6 is going to be smaller 17 one. radiant damage. Yeah. Ow! Smaller one. As if it's from the same source. No, it's definitely, like, your arcane senses are like, oh, this is like... The blood magic magnifying the power of oh, the sword. Right. Sure. Like, that is pretty clearly what's going on here. Um, you take half of s oh, yeah. you eight. Eight damage. Not Radi bad. Radiant damage. Ha -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Similar to fire damage, but more. Ha -ba -da -ba -ba. more um, <laughs> so I like stumble ha -ba 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 -ba. to the edge of the door and I got like these blood crystal shards stuck in me and mm -hmm. stuff. And, like pull awesome. them out. Ugh! Okay. Well, you broke one. Let's not do that anymore. But there's only three more. <laughs> Two more. No, three more. If you want, I'll do it. I'm not a coward. <laughs> and I like I like crawl back out to the hallway and drink both my healing potions. I want to know if there's a safer <laughs> way to do this. Oh man, if only we had like explosives. 
No, we need the radiant strike. Six, Unless you six, can do radiant damage. Just throw the radiant so uh, the sword at it. Yeah. It might be one of your cantrips. Could be. Light. Yeah. Uh, sacred flame. One creature save or one d8 radiant damage. Well, it should be two d8 now because we're level, we're over level oh, five. Okay. Well, we didn't have time to print this out, so two d8. Yeah, Radiant damage, I guess. Get one of the crystals. Okay, I guess I'll shoot through the door at it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Presumably, you all are out of the room. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So similarly, giant explosion. Um. Flash of light, like your the power of your attack is like magnified tenfold or something like that. Um. The room is like pretty shaken up right now. The like, the dangly like weird thing coming out of the ceiling is like like half the appendages are snapped and all the tubes are busted um but taking cover behind the the melted door you're able to mm -hmm. uh, avoid the blast itself oh good that's far more efficient so <laughs> just painful do it two more times yeah okay let's turn I'll, this place off i'll just do it two more times okay cool um Spoilers, you do it two more it. times <laughs> and uh <laughs> the entire place goes pitch black i've nice. got dark vision i wait Oh, we do. Yes. You guys are like, okay. And I'm like, oh, shit. Same. <laughs> um, so, take out the sword. Does the sword glow? Yeah, it does. Do you still have it out? No, I gave it to Lindsay. Oh, still I it take out. it out. Yeah, it glows. Ooh, it glows I'll lead the way. As the light spell. Well, now that we've destroyed this place, we need to figure out how to... Zico, 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 Zico. <laughs> gotta figure out how to kill the Zico <laughs> Phoenix. Oh. Let's, uh, so you remember there were there was a far door out of this chamber which looks like it's got stairs. Yeah, upstairs. Yeah, let's do that. Well, you know, let's take a let's look around. If we think about it, maybe that was keeping everybody in the while well, their fate was to be used as energy anyway. So maybe this is nicer. But yeah, we got to get out before it starts surely, stinking. Surely, over the, the thousands of years this place has been in operation, some justice has been done today. On second thought, let's not think about it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> let's go up that staircase. There's so, always that. I just had a great idea. Sure. Fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Uh, actually, fuck yeah, this. Yeah, actually. actually. I'm just not even going to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> So you spiral up the uh, staircase. It goes probably like two full rotations. Um, you estimate you've oh, gone nice up like 50 feet. Mm -hmm. um, and you enter a chamber that's about the same size as the like the weird blood torture chamber below. Mm. Um, except for this one is less like sinister looking. Um, you immediately can identify it as some sort of a control room. Mm. So as we're walking along, yeah. I go, oh, <laughs> god damn it. As we're, as we're walking along. We, we broke the adventure game cardinal rule, which is <laughs> we did all the puzzles in one room. <laughs> as we're walking along, we go, Veha, do you think you could give me any assistance? Having these crystal shards stuck in my arm is not the happiest of things for me. Of course. Um, um, I guess I could just do Cure Wounds again. <clears throat> you could use one of the channel divinities and help yeah. everybody. Who else is hurt? I'm hurt. You are hurt. Are you hurt? I'm good. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm going to use Channel <laughs> Divinity then um, and distribute the 30 points between you two. Give you get, him the majority. Do you get 30 points each time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with 13, I'll be up to full. Oh, okay. Sure, 13 to you. Okay. And 17 for you. Unless you want some. I do. <gasps> how much do you need? Uh, use it like half. Okay, well, no, I don't no, know no. how much he has, so I need a number. Um, I'll take, I'll take literally whatever you, was left over. Can you please tell me how many points you need? I have, I have, let me do math. I'm bad <laughs> at it. Okay, so you have 17 remaining. Yes. After you give me the first. Yes. I just want to know how much do you, how, what is your ratio of health to not health? I need 28 hit points to get to max. All right, just take them all. Are you sure? So you get 17. Yeah, I only need 10. Okay. 17. You really should be 54. <laughs> It's okay. But you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, mm -hmm. used one. Yep. So, awesome. you find yourselves in what is, like, unquestionably a control room. Um, there are, it seems like, sort of four banks of controls, and there's, like, levers and dials and buttons and knobs and... Well, we probably were going to destroy the crystal plane. 
Just don't touch anything. Well, they're all so they're, they're all dead. They're now. definitely all completely oh. dark. That's right. This whole place went dark. Right. Like there is, there are no lights in here. The only light is the light of that glowing star. If I were a phoenix, I'd be as high up in this place as we can go. So they're or underneath the ground. No, you only went down like ten or fifteen feet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So we so should try and well find like a key. Okay. Um, so in the ceiling above you, there is like a, a hatch trap door sort of a thing. Oh. Climb up there and get it open. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It comes up pretty easy. It's like very clearly not something that people thought about very much when they were designing this place. They're just like, oh, you need access to get up. Yeah. Um, and there's a a ladder, and you can see there's a another hatch, like a trap door at the far end of it. Okay. Um, so this one comes down. Mm -hmm. The other one looks like it pushes up. Mm -hmm. Um, and you're not sure where it goes. Oh, also, as you pull open the trap door, a ladder slides down. Yeah. Does it seem like um, this? Because we've gone up, what you said, fifty feet mm -hmm. into this control. So you're. It seems reasonable that that would lead to the roof of this. Yeah, but I'm saying we're. I just wondering if we're above ground, and I think we would. Oh, we you're you're well above ground. Okay. 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 So I'll go up. I'll go up first, um, and like peek up through the door at the top. You want okay. the sword back? Sure. You can have it back. Thanks, Lindsay. You're welcome. Cool. Thanks. Uh, Thanks. So Thanks. as you crack the hatch, daylight almost blinds Lindsay. you. <laughs> I'm assuming you're being stealthy and like yeah. manhole cover, <laughs> peek around. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. All right, yeah. Um. So as you peer around, you see that sort of behind where the trap door opens up, um, the phoenix. There's like a giant nest made out of like like scrub pine and juniper trees and just like whatever this phoenix could accumulate like trees. here. Trees. Yeah. It's a big bird. It's got like a fifty foot wingspan. I know. I just check wingspan. Um, and it big is bird. sitting there in its nest. Um, tearing off hunks of riding lizard. Oh shit! Is it just not? No, it's fine. Okay. Just double checking. And it You're is uh, facing away from you. It is not paying you any attention. <laughs> I'm just like I'm back up against the wall. Wait, wait! It's not paying attention. Get the assassinate! Can you tell me how to get? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> <Big> bird. <laughs> I'll, James, I'll throw you. No. That's the assist. I'll throw. So I'm gonna human javelin. I'm gonna turn and, and whisper down the the hold. Everybody's like, I'm gonna go for it. Can you guys quiet him at all or anything? Like, like, shush. I'm gonna die. <laughs> and then his deafness. And then I I go for the assassinate yeah. surprise attack. He's okay. going to die. Can so like you're gonna to have to like this to bird is on fire. This bird is on fire. Yes. Is, is the bird on fire? Yes, it's on fire. It's a phoenix. Well, let's let's the talk about on okay. Fire. Let's talk about the logistics this of the bird fire. Is the, bird. On fire. Right. the bird. It's really the hot. Bird is on fire. You suspect that if you like try and land on its back, you will take fire damage. How much fire? No, okay. Mm, tough call. <laughs> tough call. I James is James, James, James is assassinated. You will be jumping into a fire. <laughs> You'll be literally self-immolating. It, uh, it might make a, uh, or take a, I don't know, what would that be? It used to be like a will-saving throw, but that's not a thing anymore, so I guess just wisdom. To what? To, to just say like, if to you just like, jump nah, into the fire? you know fire? what? You're a hero. You have the determination to do it if you want to. You, but you'll have to, you'll have to like, no, climb up forward. this like nest of charred, blackened Ooh, logs. Like, to <laughs> get high enough up to jump onto its back or whatever you're trying to do. Well, I'm going for its vital spots, wherever that is. Do it is. for the vine. Okay. Uh, I don't know bird's anatomy at all, so we'll say there's one on the back. What is on the back? The, some vital spot. You the gotta bird, attack the, the bird bird's be. weak spot for math of damage. You know what? Let's, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Are you yeah. gonna get your friends up yeah. there to I, I back you I whispered to them that, that I'm doing it and they should come up. Mm -hmm. I clamber on up there fast as can be. Okay. Right. I'm getting up there to see my friend Steve Steve. <laughs> but I was really hoping to uh, Zach, please to make stop. that stealth check before they clamber to the top and please. went, Hi, Phoenix! Yeah. <laughs> hey. <Please> Where? <laughs> Phoenix? 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 Nani? Man, so I'm, 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 the Phoenix is not paying attention. So you, like, if you're staying out by the trap door, you don't have to make stealth checks. You'll have to make a stealth check to sneak up on it. Okay. My bird uh, can I get advantage since it's distracted with the lizard? Oh, for sure. It's <laughs> assuming that. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'll, <laughs> get, I'll, get, I'll get you some more advantages once I start raging. Every possible rules layer. Um, right. So are you like? I wish there was like a shield I could make. Don't you? Don't you have a like spell that 
Holy shit. Provides resistance to fire. You already cast it. I cast it on myself. Uh, it's a concentration. You cast it once. I'm yeah, gonna... Just, uh, him and then you well, she could, you could cast it once more, but... Um, I could. But you only have one third level slot left, which I think well, you should... And it wouldn't be on her anymore, because it's a concentration. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then Concentra- the- you can only have one concentrated spell well, at it's time. probably to be honest it probably ran out by now because it only lasts for a certain amount of minutes hour it's an hour yep. yeah oh okay yeah i don't think you guys well then there's no sense hour. in wasting it okay uh no. here we go stealthily climbing up the logs oh, is this your all right music? here it goes this is a video of um this is what jane's about to do today. <laughs> <laughs> i could create a spiritual weapon <laughs> do a spiritual weapon oh jeez. okay uh that's gonna be a 20 Okay, that's enough. Um, that sh- if that was not enough, wait, I'd say I could add. I could bless root. it to add one d four on an attack roll. But he's fine. He got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you are able to stealthily like clamber up these logs and the heat. Yeah, it's uh, pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're not laughing right. at you. I know. So. Uh, there you stand. There it is. You gonna <laughs> jump on this motherfucker? Yep. Yeah, yeah. baby! YOLO. <laughs> right. So you... You have advantage here. <laughs> okay. Right, because it you're, it doesn't know you're there. Yeah. You're going to surprise it. It's eating the lizard, yeah. Uh, so I want to make it clear. As soon as I hit this thing, mm-hmm. I'm yeah. going to... I'm going to attack with a sun sword. Okay. One thing. Because it does break yeah. damage. And then as soon as I hit it, I'm going to try to roll off its back and acrobatically land off of it. Oh, you did that with the manticore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I don't want to stay on there and get burned. It's my signature move move until I die. The the disengage. The old stab and roll. Cunning action. The the bird will roll, you'll roll off the tower. I attack it. That's my plan. As soon as 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 he does that, I'd like to... Um, enrage and sprint up to it. And okay. Okay. Here start, we go. Start great sorting it. Let's okay. hit this big dumb bird's AC. Cool. Please, please, please. Big I dumb bird. already hit it. I snuck up big on it. Oh, that's stupid it bird. Yeah, I thought that was the attack. Nope. Here we go. Oh man. Fuck. That's a fourteen. Fourteen. That hits. Hey. Whoa. This is a pretty big dumb bird. Oh, oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> It'd be hard to miss. I'm yeah. feeling uh, terribly. Terribly, Zach. Tor- right. Just terrible. Yeah. Just terrible. It's, right. it's bad. It's bad. Okay, so it's a crit, which means I roll... Wait, sneak attack. Oh, auto, auto crit. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So I, I roll 1d6 radiant, uh, 1d6 for the short sword. I roll 3d6 for my sneak attack. So I'm going to roll 10d6 here. Wait, I should cast blindness wow. and death on it. I got them all. I'm just going to roll twice. Maybe. Oh, I should have done Why that before he attacked. Well, then, then it would have been way. So satisfying. No, it, it, it resists at least my magic. It doesn't like God, it. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> can I? Oh, can I man. not? We don't know that. Oh, can I roll man. Look at that shit. One fucking six. Shitty numbers. No. Min, 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 min. 10, damage. 15, 14, 15, 16, 16, hey, 10 d6 more like 30 20, damage. 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah. Or 35. 25, damage, 26, so 27, 27 damage altogether. 27. That's altogether. below average. 35 is what you want. Wait, that's with your dex bonus? Yeah. Jeez. I rolled a 24 on the dice. That's yeah, there not, are a lot of ones in there. That's not good. Wah. That's a bad roll. Yeah. Do you... <laughs> so, I mean, if I was playing War Machine... And can I give someone though? lucky? I cannot. No. I, well, you you know, you can use unluck, You can use lucky uh, against attack rolls on you. It's cool, though. Uh, I rolled a quick. So then I roll off. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. So as you uh, <laughs> okay. land in its fiery plumage, um, you take 11 fire damage. Oh, good thing you went back up to. Yep. I just watch this happen and I'm like, this was not a good way to go about this. Damn. Okay. Um, and then you're able to fall off and acrobatics land on your feet. Woohoo! Okay, so I land. Didn't count on that, did you? Okay. Sesame Street. <laughs> Sesame Street. One. Cool. So the Phoenix. Today's letter is O. Oh, rolled the one. One. Rolled the one. I rolled the one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Alright. This is why. Welcome to SpongeBob and Sesame Street memes. The show. <laughs> Hey, this is how we're gonna get like a larger like audience of like the kids. There's no more Spider-Man and Elsa. <laughs> so yeah, we're yeah. gonna fill the. We're cat. not. We're not just dating the episode. We're also uh, dating, dating ourselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Just gonna give you some tips like, oh. lore here. This is why I started dungeon mastering. Cause when I play, I can't roll for shit. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Cool. Uh, so the the phoenix like cries out and beats its enormous wings and takes off into the air, um, launches itself up, leaves leaves the lizard behind. It sort of like. 
drops into the nest with an enormous thud and you stumble back from it. Okay. Um, I need initiative from folks. Uh, Hopefully I can get now back. Now bear my arctic blast. Fuck! How does a 17 feel? That sounds pretty good. I want to re-roll my, my initiative. Do it. Okay. Is that lucky? Yep. Um, I got a 12. Okay. Hey, I did too. Yeah, twenty-one. Ooh, there we go. That All was right. worth it. Heal me, for the love of God. I Do think. What? Wait, should Do I heal God. you or should I cast blindness, uh, so deafness? Seventeen. Cast blindness, deafness. Yeah. yeah, seventeen. Seventeen for Luther. He could make it blind, and that'd be fine. Uh, which of you two has a higher dex bonus? Me. Okay. Mm. No, it's the same. Wait, yours is plus two, right? Yeah. Ooh, would we Mine's want blind three? or deafened? Okay. Blinded. So yeah. Lindsay. Knew it. <laughs> Knew it. Knew it. Uh, yeah, I don't think birds have great hearing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, get, get my paddle because I'm, I yeah. can do it. Um, and then finally, do they get... really? Yeah, so oh, that's sorry. like one of its traits is like insight. Night, so I should cast. Yeah. Hey, I got Joe's. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna blind You're it then. Me. To... Okay. Yeah. Well, so I mean, that... also burns in general. Did you just say? <laughs> so doesn't that spell do both? No, bird. No, blind or oh, deafened. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. So we gotta go, we gotta go. All right, yeah. Okay. So the, the bird is slow. Um, Bear, you're up first. All right, I am going to cast Blindness, Deafness on this big Well, which one are you doing? Blind. Blind? Yeah, so Legit. Yeah. Definitely blind. Okay, cool. Go for it. Yep. Uh, what happens? What do I even cast? <laughs> oh, but hold up. Uh, oh, no, it's not concentration. Sweet. Okay, cool. Yeah. I don't think there's any. It anything... rolls a save. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so, What's the DC? Constitution saving throw. Uh, DC 15. 15. Okay. I mean, that's, low, about, that's about uh, as good as you Pretty low. Do. Pretty low. All right. So, you, uh, the, yeah, you're successful. The bird is blind. The bird is blinded. It gets what? Minus four to attack rolls? Or no, minus... it gets disadvantage on attack rolls. We get advantage on attack rolls against it. Yeah. And it automatically fails any ability checks that we're allowed on sight. I clap my so hands and like a big flash and of light it. goes out. Okay. And it blinds it. Okay. How long does that last? Uh, test it your magic first step. Oh, I'm going to. With the old can trip. One minute. Okay. That's pretty so good. Yeah. That's probably most uh, of the combat, if not yeah. all of it. It's true. Cool. All right. The phoenix is blinded. It's got stars in its eyes. Luther. Blinded what happens? By the light. Uh, uh, and Lindsay, you're on deck. Am I within striking distance? Um. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> Sitting here, like struggling to take off, it's sort of like caught in its nest a little bit. It's totally confused. Um, you could get a good stab. <laughs> Can I stab it without taking fire damage? Nope. Gonna throw my dagger. Put your sword down. Let it fall on the sword. <laughs> Don't. I spent my whole turn building a Damn sword it. trap. Uh, okay. <laughs> Drink potion is part of the movement. It action. knocks it over. Uh, I slurping so, door. Yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm slurping just asking. Door. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Where's my mouse? Why is my mouse not doing things? Mouse, please. Mouse, Alexa. Why? <laughs> mouse on. Alexa. That's, that's my default. That's my default reaction. Alexa, drink health potion. Drinking elf potion. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Why? Why? Is it because so it's, 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 we're past our bedtime. And yeah. we're, yeah. we're getting into the okay, silly so stage. We're dehydrated. Whatever. At least it's, it's at least won't be able to like happen with them. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. Seriously. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Throw the dagger. Come on, baby. Okay, there we go. Hey, yeah, wait, yeah, don't you get advantage because it or <laughs> yeah. is blind? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can just sneak attack. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so that's enough to hit. Don't worry about it. Wait, wait. What if you crit? Oh, yeah. Okay. No that was a big <laughs> roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's the sneak attack damage with the dagger. I should roll. I know, Dan. I know. All right. Well, there's some damage. Yeah. Uh, 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, <laughs> 22, 23, 24. All right. Nice. Uh, so 27 and 24 I is I throw the 51. dagger into its already blinded eye. Yeah. <laughs> now it's, can it be permanent? Um, on that one side, yeah. yeah. Um, so the, the, yeah, the phoenix, like, Screeches, it's clearly in pain. Phoenix. Um, can't see out of its right eye. <laughs> you go, oh, you go, no. I was almost corroded to death. You're, okay. you're upset. <laughs> so, I hate your this castle. In the you nest. killed my Gila monster. <laughs> Veha, where are you? Um, do you have to be able to see the phoenix? Like, how close do you have to be to blind it? 30 feet. Oh, okay. Can are you at max range on that? Spells? Um, 
I don't know how big this is. I don't know how wide this cube is. Yeah, so it's it's just like a big open space on the top. It's maybe, I mean, it's, I don't know, at least 100 yards across. Oh, um, and just consider it a, a big circle with the nest in it. And there's I'm a close enough it's to have painful. cast it. Okay, close enough to have cast it. Um, We'll say you're at 25 feet. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Um, so oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I know why you know So know. as the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. After I threw the dagger, I run away, and on my move, I drink my potion. So you want a okay, so or... as an immediate response to your dagger hitting the tie, the uh, phoenix response <laughs> um, goes up in flames. Oh, no. Can I drink my potion for then? Uh, <laughs> that would be a pretty serious retcon it, it to be doing your move action. Oh, well, you asked about it beforehand. All right, you can have drank your potion before that. Sweet. Whoop, whoop. Um, one, two, one. Don't you want this two, band three. of adventurers? Uh, four, five. This is Let's like see. Dark Souls drinking those potions. Watch, this is gonna be. I'm gonna be one point away from getting killed. Sunny yeah. D. Okay, so just the, uh, roll, James. Just roll. The old phoenix uh, does in fact explode. It's the same um, like fat roll it. enormous ball of fire no. effect that you saw earlier. Um, so anything within twenty feet, which I think is just you at this point. Look, oh, I've done the nest. I've done fifty-one damage, so my Ooh, my part is over. Oh, no, you can you can dice. throw it right down. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Don't go, uh, Jason Waterfall. Thirty-four. Jason, I'm down. Fire damage. All right, oh, it's so oh, Luther is down. Shit, hold on. I don't think you're dead. Matt. So twenty-six. You'd be at minus, minus eight. No, yeah, I'd be minus eight. I'm fine. Okay. Ooh. Minus ten is straight dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. If so, uh, I do death saving throws. Mm-hmm. But if you take your remaining HP plus Wait, your he has total HP, HP. No, if you take your remaining HP plus your total HP, you die immediately. Oh, okay. That's definitely this massive is the damage. second level one. Ow! Okay, I'm down. Yeah. Um, You're so, enormous ball up. of fire, yeah. like, the <clears throat> nest explodes giant, like, these charred logs go everywhere. Um, so, I'm gonna say, let's have I can cast spare, I can cast Spare the Dying as a cantrip. On your turn, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. So, let's have Death Saving Throws from everybody uh, else. This, you should just heal them, though. Do, you that one? do I need to? Okay. Yes. I do? Yeah, you're on the roof because this is like a log is coming at your face. Oh, it's a log? Yeah. From So the, the phoenix exploded. <laughs> we're, we're, we're all inside the manhole. Directly in it, but everything around it, including its nest, just like oh. everywhere. We're all inside the manhole. We're like, ah! <laughs> I have to duck under. 14. Ah, I got, oh. an, I got an 18. Okay. Um, so, Lindsay, go ahead and take 12 points of log to the face damage. Bludgeoning, I guess. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so a log just like Wax you upside the head and you stagger backwards a little bit. You see stars. Cool. Um, okay, so that was are the rest Luther. Of us okay? Lindsay, you're up next. Are the, are, Nash, are you're okay? on deck. Uh, so it exploded. Yeah, you two are fine. There anything anything duck out still there? Um, yeah, so it's still there. It just like it just exploded out. Blast outward. of fire. Same thing that it did when it struck you initially. Okay, I attempt to. How close are you to it right now? You're like underneath it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to literally touch him. He's in the rotation. Yeah, but if I like, but <laughs> if I don't, she might. I well, most it, of it's at a range. It depends, but I mean, okay. like, also it's just like so. Lindsay, even if he's there, we I can't leave him there. To cantrip it because okay. none of my magic works. Yeah, no effect. Okay. Ooh. Oh shit! It has oh, spell absorption. Him no, it doesn't because I cast blindness indefinite on it and it works. Yeah, now we're fine. Right. Wait, so it's what him. Kind of, what cantrip did you cast? Uh, that one was. It's necrotic. him that's the problem. No, there's. So, I gotta figure out the puzzle, and I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. The puzzle is it. It. You are the phoenix. I don't know. Uh, so um, I throw the box away. No, we need it. All right. Okay. Why do we want to capture it so? Um, just because this guy told us. Because to otherwise it'll just come back to life. Yeah. Yeah, it's phoenix. All right. So you cantrip. Do you do anything else? Uh, no. Okay. Is it 40 feet away? Uh, yeah, you can get there. Cool. Yeah. I want to run up to it. Um, I'm enraged. I want to... <clears throat> no, Logan, please. Please, no. <laughs> no, we can't do lose it. both of our do it. Do it. Do it explode man. again? Do it. Fucking do it. <laughs> um, well, because I, I can reckless attack, double attack, plus do... Um... Recklessing attacking is a really good idea here, because it already has disadvantage. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Um... Yeah, do you, you want got advantage. and I have and I have rage already advantage. So do you I want any sort of like enhanced ability or anything? Um, you you or have to wait till your turn to cast those. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then and then if if anyone else gets up to do a melee attack, they have advantage again. So I mean, yeah. advantage advantage. Okay, so I'm going to attack the once. Uh, you should have advantage on this because oh, yeah, it's too. blind. <laughs> okay, that one nineteen plus mm-hmm. everything. Is that a crit with your great sword? 
I no. don't know. Okay. As in, I don't think so. Weapons don't have critical ranges. Oh, oh, is that not a thing? In... Mm, not no. No. Critical range is only a thing of the champion fire class now. Yeah, okay. I played a lot of their guys. I do 14 yeah. damage. Cool. I attack him again. Because you told me to! <laughs> um, yeah. Just, 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 it is 14, never you said. 14 and uh, 13. 13. Okay, so that puts it at 78 total damage. Wait, hang on. Is this right? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um. So you close with it, and you like hack with your great sword. Yeah. Um. Take eleven fire damage for just being up in the inferno. <laughs> yeah. Being all up in that. Um. And you're pretty sure this creature is going to like take off into the air next round. Um. Do you like? Is that just cool with you? I mean, I've used my move and my attack. So. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, who do we say next? The Phoenix is next. Okay, so... <laughs> and, uh, Vea, you're on deck, so have your action ready. So the Phoenix uh, uh, bursts up into the air um, and flaps its wings a few times and you're, like, knocked back, staggered by the blast. I forgot to add my rage damage to that, so uh, add, add four. Add four, four for each of them? Four total. total. Okay. It's dead! <laughs> it, 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 wing falls off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it... It, like, flaps up in the air, and it's, it, like, clearly you, like, hit it hard. It's struggling, um, Sorry. but it, it's definitely, like, to do able to stay airborne, no problem, and it just is gaining altitude. Mm. Um, so it gets up to, again, about s- probably 60 feet above you, um, and it circles and it screeches, but it, it's, like, like you can see it shaking oh, its head. It's, it's trying to shake it off. Like, it doesn't know, it can't see you to target you. It's not happy. Yeah. That's right. Um, <laughs> so anything that needs sight, I just can't really? do. Um, so I it's but it's disadvantage on attack rolls, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, so it's to going you, to uh, Nash since you just hit it and it like knows roughly where you are. It's going to uh, it flaps its wings and a like a line of fire appears across the ground. So you reckless attack, right? Yeah. So it will actually wait. They cancel out. Well. So why did you reckless attack? Because you get advantage against it anyway. That was my fault. Steered you too home. late. I mean, I was raging. Hey, Nash is reckless, so it should it should roll down. just normal. Okay, right? Because cool. they'll cancel out. Yeah. Uh, so this attack here. Okay. Be reckless. Just don't listen to me. Is, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so that is going to be a miss anyway with that four. That's the third four in a row that I've rolled here. Um, well, like a four next. <laughs> so you. You, like, see this, like, line of fire coming across the ground, and you just, like, dive out of the way, and you're fine. Uh, so mm-hmm. that's the Phoenix's turn. Veja, you're up. Ooh, all right. Multi-tack. I'm casting uh, Channel Divinity again, and I'm giving all 30 too points to you. Too late. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> too late, Dan. It's fine. It can only be one fire. Okay. Mm. Um, I'm going to cast Channel Divinity again, and I guess I should just give all 30 points to you. Yeah, Do bring you need, back. You don't need anything? I can, t- I, yeah, I'm, I'm at 43. And points. you're all right? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. <gasps> okay. It's not That's pretty much how it is. Like you're pretty much brought back to like being feeling like perfectly huh. all right. Huh. Huh. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, I hate this you're like. I hate these people. Back, so, like, 80, Eighty to ninety percent of your body. The next, you're just like have like I don't know like a sprained ankle. Yeah. I like I like lean up and look over the hand like. <laughs> okay. All right, so Luther, you're up. Um, Lindsay, you're on deck. That's it. We oh, have no more. We, we have no time. more channel yeah. divinity. He's still in the air, though. Yeah, the the oh. beast is in the oh. air. Are you trying to figure out how to attack You're waiting right now, right? Yeah. Hmm? Are you trying to figure out how to attack it? Oh, I get advantage anyway. I don't well, know what to do. I get advantage anyway. It's okay. 60 feet in the air. Also. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was going to say. He has to be five foot melee attack range. By a freaking bow. God damn it. All right. Um. You pull. You pull a javelin out of my holster. No, uh... I mean... There's no, there's I swing my else. hips at you with my javelin. <laughs> there's nothing else in this room or anything? Uh, ceiling? You're, so or there roof? are... as you So you're looking around like yeah, seriously? Okay, okay. so out at the... Well, the is it going to take an action to do this? No. Nah. Okay. okay. This is something you probably would have noticed earlier, actually, honestly, but I okay. didn't say it. Um, so out at the edges of the, the fortress, there are these, like, big... Tubular devices. They look almost like the like the mortar tubes you've seen, like uh, like big cannons and that sort of thing. But like some like a weird, crazy, arcano magic. Okay. Um, is this room? Of that. <clears throat> so this is, is is the roof to this room open? Hmm? Uh, this is the roof of the keep that you're on. 
Right, so is, does it have an open roof or is it a dome? Yeah, it's just the sky above you. If I were to clamber up those pipes, could I get within striking distance? They're just at, think of like artillery cannons. Okay, uh, yeah. uh, okay, in that case, I'm going to pull my bell out of my backpack. Okay. And I'm going to move away as far as I can from the Phoenix and start ringing the bell, trying to draw it back down towards uh, me. Okay. Probably, well, move it, move it in a strategic plane so it can fly down so it's adjacent from me. Here, and ring okay. this bell <laughs> right good. into my trap. <laughs> yeah, you bring, uh, bring it between us. You Come catch on, you his eye and you're like, know what I'm doing. Okay, cool. Um, so the the Phoenix definitely, like, its ears perk up. It's like, oh, there's something going on. Like, finally, I have something to do. Yeah, that's right. Um, Lindsay, you are up. Okay. Um, so I guess earlier when it attacked us the first time, you said I kind of saw it coming somehow, or I saw it, uh... It was... Shit, son of a bitch. I totally have been misplaying your entire, like, there's, I had a whole arc planned out. I'm sorry, Doug. Zach, whoever you want. <laughs> Doug. It's okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, because I just, I'm not really sure what I can do right now. Yeah. Um... So if you, like, focus on it and concentrate, like, you've got that little spark. Yeah. Um, if you focus on it, you think you might be able to sort of counteract the Phoenix's magical abilities. Like, sort of the same way it can, it's resistant to you, you can sort of, like, if it, like, does that ray of fire, or if it does, like, even the flames that come out, you might be able to sort of... Dampen it? Yeah. Okay. Or even annul it entirely. If you're like, if that's what you're focusing on, sure. Yeah, I will try focusing on that. Okay. Cool. So you look deep within yourself. Yeah. And find that link. Yeah. Yeah, you're. I hate this bird. <laughs> Subdue it. Me want chicken. I don't want it to burn you guys. Is. Okay. Nash. Um, so the phoenix, you can see the phoenix is, uh, has sort of circled around and it's got its attention on Luther. But it's not coming down. Uh, I mean, I it's, it is to. like, yeah, it's on its way down, but it's not there yet. Then I'll, uh, I'll level a javelin at it okay. if I can. Which would be a 15 to hit. Double hit? Well, yeah, it's close enough that you can do that. I guess, well, I guess I would get advantage. Why not? So. Oh! oh! Goodness, goodness. All right. Uh, Please kill sure. It. I don't know what to do. Please kill it. So you roll all damage dice twice. You've never so wanted something to die 15, more in your life. Nineteen damage. Nineteen damage. Okay. Um. So your someone special to get a death blow here. Your javelin catches it right through the the like it's the wing muscles and it it like stumbles and it starts it like lists a little bit and it's like just barely able to keep itself aloft. Dare I say um, plus two again from <laughs> rage damage that I forgot. Yeah, okay. You make that save, Dan. You make that no joke. <laughs> um so it is um you have basically like it is this like swoop that it was in is now more of like a going to be a crash landing. Swoop. There it is. Um <laughs> shit. Okay. Oh wait yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A big cool. burning <laughs> yep. mass coming down towards us. Yeah. Um so, and it's its turn. Uh, there, you're on deck. So, you can sense that it is, like, charging up for a, a serious fire attack. Like, it's pissed off. It's going to, like, sink everything into uh, Luther here. Are you going to, like... You can stop it. You, I stop. You feel it. You can, you can just, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want it okay. to, like, seize up as a... And then just yeah, like... so the, the Phoenix keeps moving, Ooh, but cast it's like you can you see it, like, as it's coming down, um, that wave of fire is about to come off of it again, and it starts to expand, and just as it's about to catch you, it shrinks and shrinks back into the Phoenix, and the, even the heat from it that you were feeling before is seems to be greatly reduced. Mm. Hmm. Since, oh. is it my turn now? Um, yeah, and so the, the Phoenix, like, lands and, and sort of, like, almost crashes into the deck and sort of rates itself and is really confused that everything's not on fire around it, um, and that's about its turn. Okay, cool. So they have? Um, I could cast Guiding Bolt at it. Um, I mean, like, since everyone seems like they're... We, well, the, people already have advantage on it, so they don't need it, because it's blinded. Yeah. Because guiding bolt sets up advantage. Oh. It is damage though. I mean, like I could also just inflict wounds. Mm -hmm. Do do what you want. Yeah, do what you want. 
Inflict wounds actually sounds like it would be uh, more effective. 3d10 plus 1d10. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> it is touch range, though. So you, but you have the... You will have, <laughs> oh, wait, I have to a, touch it? It's touch range. Oh, shit. Did Zoctavir make it clear that we needed to deal the last blow with the box? Or can yes. we, like, kill it and then... Okay. So if you deal the last blow, it will, like... We don't Another know how much fire it has, do we? And then in its, like, the place where it was born, like, the place where its soul is attached to... Uh, we, can't, oh, we, we can't exactly kill it, yeah. No, we, we've got to hit it with a box for the last hit. Do, we, do, I, do I have so, some sort of sense on where um, it's at? You're, it is, like, almost ready for that, but not quite there. Mm. So get it! Okay, cool. Then I will cast Inflict Wounds, so 3d10. You're going to run up and touch this thing? Well, so, A, it's uh, fire <laughs> pulsing is it's, weakened. It, I know it's gone. But... Well, no, it's it's weakened, and she has the resistance. Yeah. So uh, that combined. Yeah, so resistance to fire. All right, cool. All right, yeah. Now, do you need to uh, roll in a, a touch attack for that, or...? Uh, I don't know. Just check, that, check the spell. You Bird. probably it, it do. should Bird say everything you need to know on that. Just three d ten. No, no. You read over here for like. Oh shit. How it describes stuff. Necro one. Make a melee spell attack against a creature you can reach. All right. So you use your attack modifier. Okay, cool. So I have to roll. Mm -hmm. D twenty. Got wait, wait, wait. advantage. You roll with advantage. With advantage. So okay. roll two and take the higher. Add one. Uh, oh, that's 20. a crit. Crit. Whoa. Twenty-seven. Okay, now you might 60, kill it. Sixty ten. Pl no. Plus a uh, spell modifier. That's not right? good. Should I take the box then? No. If we're gonna you're, you've used your you're attacking. Okay, cool. It's so, too late. Here, roll some of my d10. d10. Yeah. So if you want it to be like, can we put it I, at one hit point? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say if you want this to be like non-lethal, like disable both of its wings and like yeah, no. keep it to the ground. I think that's a <laughs> yeah way to be. Okay, cool. I inflict a wing. So it says 3d10 plus. Oh, that doesn't matter then. The other part doesn't matter. And you roll that twice. So that's a that's a 10, 20, two, two. So 22 damage, and then roll it again. Big damage. Big money. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 37. Yeah. Plus. Jeez. Is it plus? That's kind of crazy. It's a crit. Yeah. yeah. No, just yeah. yeah. There've been a lot of crits yeah. tonight. Yeah. This combat. Want to check our die? Uh. No, so, anyways, really. so like I um, I kind of like confidently walk up to it and then I just like push it. Okay. Oh, is this like a you are weaker than I am kind of? Pretty much. Like nice. you, you have you are in a point. You are in a position of submission, and now you will you will see. Yeah. So the true the... power. <laughs> The like as the uh, the fire of the phoenix subsides due to Lindsay's uh, interference, your mm -hmm. dark energy comes out and a black fire starts to consume the feathers of the phoenix, um, and it's like it starts. I'm gonna say it starts from the outside in, um, and it just like eats all the feathers off of its back, and it's uh, <laughs> it's a plucked bird now. <laughs> all of its like all of its plumage is gone, and it's. It's <clears throat> appendages like twist and, and break and crack in strange directions. Um, and it is still alive, but it, it collapses to the ground just barely. And it, I tell you to do it. It caws weakly. Do it. So. Do it. So we're out of initiative at this point. Oh. Do it. Lindsay walks over pretty slowly, actually. And with the most calm demeanor you've probably seen of him, he pulls out the device. And he realizes before plucking, you know, attaching on the bird. Was this gonna hurt you? We'll see. He realizes that he did nothing to take down this beast, and it was only sacrificing his own power and letting you guys do the work that he was able to get this done. And he attaches it on. Okay. There's a, a sinister, like, mechanical clicking and, and clanging, mm. and it latches onto the beast. And you can see this, like, sort of the, the area around it, like, warps a little bit. Um, and the this, like, fiery red substance is drawn out of the beast's breast and is captured in the... Uh, the nice. And the... The corpse or the corpse of the phoenix and it is now most definitely a corpse um just lies there it doesn't burst into flame like the legends say phoenixes are supposed to when they die how do i feel am i good it's 
You're not sure. There's not a pain. Something's missing. Yeah. I stopped Maybe. ringing the bell. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> My arm's really tired, you guys. Can I stop now? Yeah, and you're not you're not sure if like it's your connection with this bird that caused it or if it's just something sinister. Well, or even just like it wasn't as exciting as you thought it would be. Yeah, like that emptiness when you finally get some sort of big achievement and you're like, well, what now? Yeah. 16 uh, and achieve your dreams? Time to tire. Exactly. Um, is it like, is there is there like an eerie quiet on, top, on the rooftop now? Yeah. I've gone to examine the corpse of it and I'm, sh I'm not sure if we should eat it. It's probably fine. I, I don't know what my well, necrotic could... damage does to it. It's all surface level. It's fine. I was going to no. say, it could be a charred exterior. Isn't this going to be what we're worried about that? And you're just like, ah! Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. Because like I'm like, and I'm like when it comes to like my own energy, I'm like, hmm, that's a story. So I got to yeah. pay attention to this. So moreover, I say, I think that we cannot let this place go into the hands of Zoctifer. I agree. Uh, although it's I think actually... no one should know of this place. I was gonna say it's been powered down, so you know, probably yeah. not. So based, back online easily. Based on your knowledge, like those blood crystals are, like those are like mythic level mm -hmm. power things. Like they're not easy to create. This is like we could have sold them. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well. Well, I mean, what do you oh, think, Lindsay? Lindsay? You caught the soul. You already got 200 gold, I mean. I don't know. I think I need some time to think. Well, we've got some on the journey back. Oh. Uh, <laughs> how are we going to get home? Well, we've provisions now. I motioned to the bird. And we'll be able to scrounge it up enough water along the way from wells. You are traveling with two <laughs> experienced survivalists. That's correct. Three. Three. Yeah, don't count yeah. me so out. June, mid June, there's still water in the desert. Experience. It's not bone dry August. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, it's not going to be a fun trip back, nor is it going to be a fast one. Well, nope. maybe we'll run into like travelers or nomads or something like that. People who will help us. Is there any? I mean, I mean, it won't be our first time. Yeah. So you do know, like wild this, mountains. Yeah. <laughs> Based on your knowledge of geography, you do know that you uh, no worms. You sort of beelined oh, so across the desert for this place, but you're actually not too far, especially after the change of direction mm -hmm. um, from the road that goes out across to the to the east towards the uh, mountains with the dwarves in them. We'll just stay here and ride this baby back. Oh. We could go try to get mounts from the dwarves. Well, it's still like another week and a half of riding. Oh, we might as well just go back then. Yeah. Yeah. You know, is there... There's no way we can bring all those people back down there? The containers? Not right now. Like, could we heal them? They're probably dead. Well, no, they're definitely still alive. We could check. Do we know if they... I saw before that one, that that one was still alive. She was definitely alive. But that was was the whole installation maintaining uh, her? Yeah, that's true. No, Actually, they're, they're gone. I, I, I want to run down and check. Okay. Yeah, we could. If yeah, you want to. Yeah, you have plenty of time now. Can I um, run down and pull out another one? Yeah, I have no pry, interest in checking. You pull it open, you pry it open, and uh, definitely dead. Damn it. This place is starting to smell... Oh, jeez. So, <laughs> like, 100,000 corpses yeah. rotting at once. Luther, like, slowly closes the lid, realizing what they did. What we did, and then goes, and go. I come back upstairs, and like, let's go back to town. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We already had the moment of let's actually. Fuck <laughs> this. All right, so I think for the the purposes of story, we're just gonna hand wave and say you yeah, made it back to town. Yeah. Um, it's not easy. It's not a fun voyage. Um, you're not able to bring back nearly as much phoenix meat as you would like, but you're experienced survivalist. You can get through the desert, Luther. You learn a few things. Oh, by the way, on the way back, you guys see Luther taking more pages out of this leather tube at his side that definitely didn't get burned by the fire. Oh, definitely uh, not. Take him out, and I shuffle through the page, and I, you see one with the phoenix on it, and it goes... I guess... <laughs> tucks it back into his tube. When are you going to tell us about that tube? 
these pages are part of my family's curse. I have to kill all the monsters on them. Well, I guess we all have our own reasons. That's fair. Lindsay, are you okay? Yeah, I just need some time, I think. I think I'll be okay. Look, if nothing else, at least you avenged your parents. I did. Trust me, it's better than being under somebody's thumb. Hmm. That's for sure. Or wingspan, in this case. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm.